Hey folks, so just for a bit of a laugh, I thought I might do a quick play of Screamer 2. It's a really old racing game that I really quite enjoy. I used to be a big fan of Screamer 2, but also Screamer Rally, which isn't actually available on uh, Steam, and I haven't managed to find it as of yet, and I'm not entirely sure why, but Screamer 2 is kind of similar to it, and it's a, it's a good bit of fun, really quite old, not much more to it than that. Um, the reason you're seeing me here in the uh steam uh sort of uh, library is because it plays through dosbox and as a result of it being played through dosbox uh, switching from window to window can be a little bit difficult so uh, it generally plays quite well i haven't had any problems with it it uses old school controls forward backward left right uh, but yeah as you can see just fired up some dosbox there i press one to play the 3d fx version the uh, the modern cutting edge graphics um you're going to find that this is actually a four by three ratio i worked out how to sort of best handle this and i think that the way that i've got it presented in the screen here is probably the best but um let me know if there's like any other way that you'd prefer me to lay out a, uh, a screen like this okay and copyright 1996 let's get straight into it now as you may have noticed on the steam page on the steam library uh, it only says that i played for uh 26 minutes or something like that uh, i used to play the gog version quite a lot i think and i think that's because it played better in wine than it i might have been pre-proton days or something like that so anyway we've got we've got the arcade mode here we've got the championship where you can unlock cars and tracks got the time attack that's what i used to play quite a lot i used to just like beating my uh, my old best time uh multiplayer never played a multiplayer that wasn't split screen so that would be kind of interesting in, in that regard uh, and then you got the the option so i've turned off the music for this um and i often do with a lot of games especially like games where the music isn't necessarily like adding much to it but um you know sometimes it depends on it suppose it depends on the game if the music is like fostering a kind of atmosphere then you know and there are some games where that's like very much the case like a lot of elder scrolls games elder scrolls 3 morrowind and oblivion as well as of course the deus ex franchise where music in that is is very like powerful okay so we've got england egypt yeah, we'll go to england that's the one i've been playing about with today so we've got we've got a front wheel drive with a max speed of 121 we've got a rear wheel drive with a max speed of 122 we've got a four wheel drive with a max speed of 120 and another four wheel drive with a max speed of uh 120. so I'm going to go with the front wheel drive the slightly faster you do get a bit more control with the four wheel drive but you uh but with this you, you just get the speed okay so let's go and by the way i'm also rubbish at this game oh my god not a good start cheeky cheeky but this like i don't know i've just been playing around with a few like old school racing games uh lately and you know they are kind of fun like uh yesterday i uh i covered with um uh wipeout that wipeout rewrite and that was kind of fun uh, and it kind of yeah like i sort of got the bug of, of old school racing games oh uh, but but i'm not like i say i'm not good so i do apologize if this is frustrating to watch i it's not a particularly i don't know i, I wouldn't say it's a realistic r r rally game i've never driven a rally car so uh oh dear i wasn't great at this when i wasn't commentating and now i'm commentating i'm like obviously worse that's my excuse right you get you you, you take like on some games you can take like a 20 percent hit of your skill level just by by commentating so mm, i'm gonna hope i can catch up but honestly eh. or could have played on easy <laughs> i'm actually playing on medium difficulty now so i'm hoping i can do something to at least catch up Oh, can I hear them in the distance a little bit? Yeah, there they are. All right. Can I catch up? Can I catch up? Is this going to be, you know, because they are kind of scrapping, you know, bumping into each other, all that kind of stuff. And I'm still getting into the flow. So uh, I spent a fair amount of time trying to get the levels right on this, but um, I do apologize if the engine sounds are a little bit loud, but um, I, uh, I, I tried my best. But really, this was just like a quick video that I just wanted to to, to put out there, really. Um, just to show, just to, just to sort of, you know, throw back to a cool old game. Mm, okay. 
Also, you may have noticed uh, I brought back the Yeti microphone. Uh, I thought it might be fun to uh, to go with the uh, crisp sounds of a condenser microphone for a while. The other microphones I use are a dynamic microphone, which which are kind of great, but they do compress a lot of the sound. Of course, the thing is with condenser microphones is they pick up every little breath. So I don't know. I uh, I sort of um, bitter back and forth as to what I prefer. Oh, okay. That bridge you can mess up because you just go. Oh no! Spoke too soon. Okay. Like I can see them. They're there, in the not great draw distance. Okay. So I don't feel like I'm doing too badly, but they are just getting away from me. Actually, I say that I did spin out like once or twice. So. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Not doing so well. I, I honest to goodness, I usually do better when I'm not recording myself. Oh, there they are, there they are. Okay. Doing well, doing well. Oh, don't spin out, don't spin out. That's the front, that's the front wheel drive that does it. If I had four wheel drive, I wouldn't be risking it spinning out like this. It's the oversteer. Hmm. Yeah, it's the speed, you know. <clears throat> I appreciate the speed, but... Mm. Fourth position. Not that far behind them, but there we go. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's, that's just a quick look at Screamer 2. Uh, love this game, um, even though I'm absolutely abysmal at it, as of course you've just seen. But um, yeah, all right, I'm going to wrap it up there now because just give it a bit of a quick video. But I just wanted to demonstrate that to you folks. That uh, yeah, and uh, I think what uh, what's the price of it on? Um, how do we check this out? Do we go to right click? No, what do we do? Go to store page or something? Um, Ah, uh, there goes store page right there in front of me. Uh, so let's have a look. It is six ninety nine, um, and yeah, it's got compatibility with Windows, Mac, and Linux. So there you go. Maybe one for the Steam Deck, but uh, I don't know what the uh, you know sort of like the gamepad controls are. Does it say? Does it say? Uh, oh, it doesn't. It doesn't have much to say about controller support, to be honest. So I'd be looking at, at perhaps uh, playing this with the old mouse, mouse and keyboard. Not even the mouse, just the keyboard. So anyway, that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for joining me. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Toodaloo.